What's up, Fragrant World? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. My name is Justin Copeland on this channel, Stay Fresh Productions. We talk about everything fragrance related. If you have an interest in that kind of content or this kind of content, the kind of content you are currently consuming, then you're in the right place. Please hit that subscribe button. Consider hitting that bell icon so every time I drop a video, you get a notification, you never miss it. And please like this video if you do like the video because it really does help with my visibility across YouTube. Thank you so much in advance. Now I'll be frank. The title was meant to lure you in. However, there is truth to it. So don't burn me yet. Most of these fragrances you've probably not heard of or at the very least have not smelled. I cannot guarantee anything because nothing in this life is certain. There's maybe some fragrances, maybe one or two of you have tried but these are definitely off the beaten path. So for the most part, most of these fragrances will most likely be new to you. So I do hope you enjoy what we got here for you. We're starting with our eighth spot. These are essentially ranked in terms of how much I enjoy wearing them, except for the eighth spot is also kind of an honorable mention in a way because it's only a sample. I don't have a full bottle of this but I really am captivated by this fragrance for its simplicity. From the house of Michael Malool, London. This is good stuff. I just got my nose on this the other day. This is called Jet Black Reserve. Again, just a sample. And I am told that this is a pretty decent seller for them. And I am also told that they're running low on stock. I think they have maybe 20 bottles left or something. To put it simply, it's kind of this warm, woody, spicy fragrance. What I mainly get out of it, a spicy cardamom with a little bit of sweetness, some woods for sure, and a warm, beautiful amber note. Maybe a little bit of a bright herbaceousness somewhat. One thing to note that it is quite subtle. This is a fragrance that is gonna stay close to your skin that people will want to get closer to. I love this, man. It just makes me feel really good. I hope to get a bottle of this, but I recommend you check this out. At the very least, maybe get a sample, get a discovery set or something. Jet Black Reserve, this one's good. Definitely recommend checking it out. All right, here at number seven, this is, I think, currently the newest release from this house, although they have a couple of others coming very soon. This is coming from an Arizona-based house called Icon de Parfum. And this is called Rumors. Beautiful bottle. It's stock, but it has some character to it. It has some charm. This is technically their women targeted release, but I don't believe in all that. Wear what you wanna wear. If it smells good to you, if you feel good wearing it, that's what matters. And notes cannot be gendered. Let's be real. So three main notes in this, plum, bergamot, and woods, maybe cedar wood or something. It is fruity, sweet, kind of juicy, but bright and fresh. A little bit of a mouthwatering quality to it. Has almost a rosiness, maybe akin to the bottle that could be the color playing tricks on my mind. I'm not sure, but the woods in here really kind of ground it, make it really beautiful. And it just dries very nicely on the skin. Just the right amount of depth. It's not super complex. Again, not much going on here, but has enough interest to keep you coming back. It doesn't project like crazy, but it does last a good while. You'll get a good seven, eight hours out of this. I know I have a lot of women who are always asking me to talk more about women's perfumes. Again, I believe you can wear whatever the heck you want, but if you're really looking for one, this is one to check out. And it's pretty inexpensive. I think you can find this on their website for under $40. Check it out, Icon de Parfum. Alrighty, up next, this is number six from a French house that is very old, very old house that does not get much talk here on YouTube. Ariza L. Legrand, butchering that, I apologize. And this is a brand new release. This is one of a couple brand new releases from them. This is called Scotch Lavender. Now, as per the name, this is just a tester bottle, by the way. As per the name, Lavender. This smells like authentic, Lavender. If you love lavender, then this is one to check out. If you've ever been walking in either a lavender field or in a neighborhood where there is lavender available, where there are plants around the sidewalk, and you've smelled it, this is what you get. 
very aromatic, even a little spicy. It's gorgeous. It is mixed with a few other elements to give it some depth, but it is mostly lavender. You get a little bit of bergamot, adds a little bit of citrus brightness in there, but overshadowed by the lavender. You get some geranium adding to the freshness, but once again, overshadowed by the lavender. Maybe even some thyme, some herbal qualities. And there's actually a little bit of sweetness in there. Added sweetness from tonka bean, from the resin benzoin. So it does dry nicely. It is lavender for most of the scent. It doesn't last all that long. It is, I believe, an eau de toilette. It doesn't last super long. I might get six hours out of this. That's just my skin. Your mileage may vary. Looks like the sun came out. Now, this is really beautiful. I'm gonna link where you can get this down below. Again, new release. They have another one that I'm not talking about in this video, but I'll talk about it some other time. That's Scotch Lavender. Okay, this fragrance, this one is relatively new to me. It would be higher because I love it and I'm loving it more every time I wear it and smell it, but I haven't had it very long, so it's not higher up on the list here. But man, first of all, this is coming from a perfumer named Hans Georg Stott, I think is his name. I think he's German. And this is a special collaboration he did with a wonderful perfume store based in Malaga, Spain, called Equacion Natural. This is a fragrance called Mr. Magnolia. We'll come with this little postcard here. Some information on the back. And it'll even come with the travel atomizer, which is really cool. They're giving you a lot for what you pay. And this is coming from a commissioned collection for Equacion Natural. They have a few fragrances that they feature. I have one other, which I'll talk about later. But this is one of them, Mr. Magnolia. I love. You can see some detailing in the back there. It's beautiful. And man, this stuff is really beautiful. Just, it's captivating. Gosh, it's based on Magnolia for sure. Fresh, it's kind of sweet and floral. It's a little bit waxy. It comes off as like a bright, almost like a white in color. You get some other florals, jasmine, rose in there. You get some amber and some sandalwood as it dries. It's simply beautiful. It might lean feminine for some, but I think it does come across as a very well-groomed kind of metrosexual vibe, but more for a daytime occasion, but very classy stuff and good performance. It is a little pricey. You'll pay maybe 170 bucks for this. I think it's 50 mil bottle, but you also get the travel atomizer. But I do have a little discount code. I'm gonna leave it down below. You can get some money off, and that also applies for the Oriza El Legrand, I actually got that from Equacion Natural as well. So check them out. Man, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is so nice. Perfectly unisex. Mr. Magnolia from Perfumer Hans Georg. I believe he has his own brand called Duff Tanker MGO or something like that. I'm not familiar with it, but this is good stuff. Check it out. All right, here at number four, a fragrance I've talked about once before, and I do feel kind of bad for talking about it because it's not that easy to get. I believe you can only buy it from Poland, at least that's the easiest way. I know Sephora in Poland carries it. I think you might be able to purchase it internationally, and it's not that expensive. I think it's about 70 bucks. But this is called Music. And this comes from a beautiful and very prestigious nonprofit in Poland called Wielka Orkiestra Świąteczne Pomoce. And they really seek to help with elderly people. I think they raise money for geriatric care and for medical equipment to help with these people in the hospitals and around. As far as I know, that's the cause. And in fact, now is a special time because I think it's their annual fundraiser, which is huge and they need help. They're looking to, again, raise money for more equipment and more care for, again, I think, older folks. I have a good friend named Gabriela who is trying to help raise awareness. Rather than just ask for money, Gabriela actually created an auction for any of you to participate in to win a bottle, not of this, unfortunately, but of a Christophe Law de Miel fragrance from his own brand called Zoo NYC. I'm gonna have all the information linked down below about how you can win, but it's not only a bottle, it is a signed bottle. Signed by him, the master perfumer himself. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm just trying to spread awareness. If you want more info, there will be a link down below. Please check it out. Consider joining the auction, which again, will support this fundraiser. 
But what does this smell like? This is a very unique fragrance. Good Lord. Based on patchouli and lab denim and vetiver, but it has this almost milky, creamy sweetness somewhere in there. Wow, it's earthy, it's a little bitter and woody, but it again has this milky quality, almost a little sweet. Very interesting, dries very nicely, great quality stuff, and has good performance, actually more than good. Beautiful scent, man, if you wanna smell different, and you want to support a good cause, this is one way to do it if you can find it. Otherwise, a great way to support would be to join in on the auction. Again, everything down below in the video description. All right, here at number three, from a well-known house, but I don't think people are talking about this fragrance all that much. I've talked about it once or twice. Oh, this is great. This is called Lo De Lo from Diptyque. This is kind of almost a classic style aromatic fougere in a way. Not really barbershop all that much. It doesn't have a lot of like that creamy, you know, almost shaving cream kind of vibe, but it does have this very fresh, spicy nature. There might be a lot of cloves in here. You gotta love cloves, which are kind of a polarizing spice. Very kind of thick, almost dusty spice, but very fresh. There's some citrus in here, there's some woods. A very interesting sweetness, maybe from florals, I'm not sure. I can't remember everything that's in here, but this is a really classy scent. It has a touch of a vintage vibe, again, maybe more for those who are in your 30s or older, but I recommend anyone check this out. It might be discontinued. I could be wrong about that, don't quote me. That's Low to Low from Diptyque. Really good stuff, no one's talking about this. Okay, here at number two, Tom Ford, Shanghai Lily. You don't hear much talk about this one. It is discontinued along with quite a few others that have been recently discontinued. This one came out, I think in 2013. This one is not for everyone. You gotta love white florals. You gotta love heavy spices and you gotta love resins. Man, this is posh, very posh stuff. Thick, heady florals, but still kind of fresh. Has a softness to it, but it is big. It's a little powdery. As it dries down, the spices come to play, the resins come to play. If you ever smelled tobacco oud, or if you smelled plum japonais, to me, both of those fragrances have similar bases in terms of the resins, spices, and things like that. And you kind of get that base in this as it dries, the florals make way for that. It is just beautiful, and I get strong performance out of this. I feel bad for recommending this because it's not easy to find I bought this partial bottle from a good friend, but if you can find it, try to sample it. Beautiful fragrance. Unfortunately discontinued, probably didn't sell well, but good stuff, Shanghai Lily. And here at number one, hopefully my battery doesn't die. This is from a brand that I've talked about a couple times recently. I had my family smell, I think this very fragrance, they loved it. We're talking about from Scotch Porter which is a black owned men's grooming brand. They just recently came out with these fragrances. Uh, late 2020. This one is called Badlands. I don't know if you can be able to read that. And it is kind of composed and owed to the Badlands, which I think are in South Dakota. It's like a national park. Talking about the outdoors, and good lord, this is a beautiful fragrance. This is kind of introspective. It definitely smells like the outdoors. It has this green nature to it, it has a woodiness to it, it has a freshness. The sweetness in here is so unusual. I don't know where it's coming from. It doesn't smell super off the wall, but I cannot pinpoint what is making it sweet. It has some juniper in here. It has some oak moss in here. It's musky, green, woody, but fresh, kind of sweet. It smells like fresh air. Really, really beautiful. It's subtle. It does not project like crazy, so don't look for that but it does last a good while on the skin if you're looking for that. Love these bottles. I think you can get these for less than 70 bucks. And I think you can get an even better deal if you buy them in bundle. I will have a link down below. And with Valentine's Day approaching, Scotch Porter is offering you, members of the Fresh Squad, an exclusive discount. You spend more than 35 bucks, you use the code STAYFRESH10, you get 10 bucks off your entire order, which is awesome. Also, we're gonna do a giveaway, why not? Scotch Porter reached out and said they want to do a giveaway. We're doing a giveaway. All you got to do, if you made it this far in the video, 
comment down below and tell me which one of these fragrances interests you the most. It doesn't have to be Badlands. In terms of which fragrance you'll win, let's say it'll be Badlands. You can win a bottle of Badlands but you don't have to comment about this. Comment about any one of these fragrances, which one interests you if you haven't smelled it. That's how you enter to the giveaway. Also, you gotta make sure you're subscribed to this channel. That's a no brainer. <laughs> and then we will choose a winner and we will ship you out a bottle of this beautiful fragrance, Badlands. But nonetheless, maybe check it out. At least get a sample set. They do have those, I believe and you can sample all four of their amazing fragrances. So I'm gonna call this a video. Once again, let me know one of these fragrances that interests you, or if there's a fragrance that you think is not talked about enough, let me know what that one fragrance is. And thank you so much for tuning in. Peace, I'll see you in the next one.